I'd like to show you the new UI for loading and checking out your private SSH keys in Cockpit. So Cockpit, when you log in, is actually a real Linux session in your browser. We load an SSH agent. If you go into the terminal, you can see it. I can list the keys that are loaded into this SSH agent. But doing all of these tasks from the terminal um, is not very discoverable. So what you can do is go to the authentication credentials dialog here. And you can see that these keys are listed and we can choose to use them to authenticate against other systems. So when I add another system to the dashboard, Cockpit can use these SSH keys to connect to it. You can see I've t this one is loaded, this one is on. You saw that one loaded in the terminal. This is loaded into the SSH agent and I can actually check out um, the details. So here's my fingerprint for example, the public key, I can change the password. And there's this tip here that says if we make our key password match our login password, then we can um, use this key, um, have this key loaded automatically. So let's load this key over here. And now it's loaded. Um, again, you can see the details. If I go to the SSH agent, cockpit SSH agent, that key is now loaded. And, but when I log in again, it wouldn't be loaded. So let's change its password to match my login password. So I can change the password right from here. Change the password, and now let's try that out. So previously when we logged in, only one key was loaded. And now I'm going to log in again, start a new cockpit session, new SSH agent, and again I'm going to check. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Two keys are loaded, this time RSA and DSA keys. And you can see they're both also indicated as loaded here through the GUI. So this makes it really easy to uh, manage your SSH private keys. We haven't yet gotten to key generation. Um, that's probably a feature that's coming down the road, but it shouldn't be too hard to, to implement um, in this UI. I hope you like that.